Yo, what is up guys? It's Jacob from Tiny Tapes here bringing you guys a brand new tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to rotoscope in After Effects. If you guys do not know what rotoscoping is, well, you came to the right place. Rotoscoping is isolating an object or a person from the background of a video clip. So a lot of crazy music video effects that are being used nowadays really rely on rotoscoping. So once you guys get this tool or effect down, you guys can do some crazy things with it. So before we hop into the tutorial, I just want to let you guys know that I have editing packs and presets. They will be linked in the description below. If you guys want to support me as a creator there's some really cool assets there you guys can use code tiny 15 to get 15 percent off all of them there so you can see we're in after effects here we got my boy ssg kobe the calabasas music video here directed by none other than cole bennett so what we're going to start off with here first is you want to go and you want to make sure please make sure that the quality here is full right you don't want to have it at half third or quarter you want to make sure that it's full when you're rotoscoping, please always make sure that it's full if it's not in full the rotoscope will be messed up and it will not be 100 percent accurate all right, so what you want to do next is you want to double click on the layer here and you want to open it up as a layer. So you're going to see that at the top here, you have composition. And then since you double clicked, you open the clip up as a layer. Once you open it up as a layer, I like to go down here and I like to make it fit. So it's just perfect. And then you want to click on this tool in the top left here. That's the roto brush tool. That's what we're going to be using to rotoscope. So once you click on that, you're going to drag over your video clip and you're going to see it's a green circle. Now, if you hold control on your keyboard and you click in and you drag up, you can make that circle bigger. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to drag it to a perfect size here and we're going to start cutting them out. Now, make sure once you start cutting them out, you'll see in your effects tab that the roto brush effect will pop up. Please make sure that you are on rotoscope 2.0, not 1.0, 2.0, 2.0 is far better than 1.0. If you're still using 1.0, what are you doing? But yeah, make sure you're at 2.0 and then you're just going to continue to kind of draw them out. You want to get that pink outline all around him perfect. So just going to draw them out here. And now you guys are you guys might have some errors just like this so see if we go back into the composition here how we don't want his neck we want it to be perfectly cut to his neck right so we'll go back into the layer and if you hold alt on your keyboard it'll be the reverse so you'll go from a green plus to a red minus and what this does it's pretty much just the exact opposite thing so you use that to unselect shit now once you have Kobe cut out, you kind of want to skim through the video just to make sure that everything matches and there's no changes because rotoscopes will sometimes change. All right, so you can see at the top of his ear here just for this one frame. If you guys are wondering how I'm like moving, if you hold space on your keyboard, you can drag your hand just like that. So we're just going to fill his ear at the top there. But yeah, that looks pretty much perfect there. Uh, once you guys get to the end of the clip and you have him fully cut out, you have the pink outline all the way around him. You guys check to make sure there's no errors. I like to check again uh, at the top there. That's a little one, but that won't matter that much. So what you want to do next is you want to go back into the composition and you'll see that he's cut out, but you can see that's kind of rough and it's not perfect. If you guys want to fix that, you want to turn your feather up here. As you can see, that smoothens it out. It just makes it a lot more smooth. And then if you guys want, uh, you can go into shift edge and just kind of bring that down to make it perfect, but you guys don't have to do that. Just make it kind of like a perfect cut. And there we go. We isolated Kobe from the background there. The background is fully transparent. Um, now what you can do to do an effect on this is you can go to this layer here You control D so you're duplicating it and then go to the bottom layer and then delete the roto brush off of the bottom layer So now the way this works is the top layer will be just the cutout of him And then the bottom layer will be the background, right? So you can put whatever image you want. You can put anything you want Let's say we go and we draw some text, right? Let's make this a SSG Kobe Right. As you can see, if you put the text layer in between these two video layers here, it'll be behind his head, which is super cool. So you guys can put anything behind him. You can warp some stuff. You can do some crazy effects. Like rotoscoping is just a tool, a tool to do all these crazy effects that people are doing nowadays. Uh, if it's 2021 and you guys do not know how to rotoscope, what are you doing? But you came to the right place. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys want to see more tutorials just like this going over basic effects, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. And like I said, guys, if you guys want to go get some dope assets for yourself while supporting me, use code TINY15 in the description below. Go check out my video editing assets. They will all be there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.